This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. And then the happy music returns. I spend only a few minutes back at my home, anxiously awaiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the front door and let her in. Oh, she has a new outfit, too. Huh. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's that's true. I wouldn't say I was surprised you didn't play the visual novel. I just said you didn't. <laughs> that may have had a role in it. I don't know. I haven't seen the anime. Sup? Hey. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. I love that she's like, I'm definitely not cute, and then she's like wearing all pink. Yeah, sure. Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. I see you brought a lot of stuff. Natsuki's carrying a large bag that's probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. True, I didn't have an oven. You bought everything I asked you to, right? This is why we should have done it at your house. I had to buy a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that rather than something snarky like she usually does. She, I said that in a snarky voice, so... Could it be that she's a little different outside of school, after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. We're in the kitchen, you lackwit! What? You're not even gonna offer to take this heavy bag for me? Nope, because you probably accuse me of being sexist. Where's your hospitality, Artie? Natsuki seems like the kind of girl who would get mad at you for holding the door open for her. Come on. Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bag and Natsuki holds out to me. And then we die. This is ridiculously heavy! Ha ha ha! I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? Yes, you're very swole. I get it. I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, Natsuki. Seems like I always underestimate you. Ha ha ha! It's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits a fist in my, my chest. Hey, hey. Your size has nothing to do with it. I don't... Her skirt's... Meh. Her skirt better extend beyond that. If it's like an ankle-length skirt, then whatever. It's still kind of weird. But it's not. Official artwork shows it's a very, very short skirt. I don't like short skirts. Just, just, just how I be. Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Eh? Huh? Um... It's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. But... Jeez, never mind! What are you making me say? You're saying this of your own accord, lady. Don't you think I... Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. Ha ha ha. What? That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. Hey! Now you are treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, know, you know. And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like... Ah. Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. Natsuki... Forget it! I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Eh? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate, too. But also... If that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Yeah. How would you know that anyway? Well, he's on the internet a lot. Just trust me on this one. Gross. Kind of. Hey! Was that to me? Who else? Man. Let's just get started already. So you still think that the Yuri route is weirder than this? Ha ha ha. You get all sour when a girl calls you gross. I finally find your weakness, Artie. That's not my weakness. Natsuki smiles devilishly. Please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, then there's no way I'm not fighting back. But if she's satisfied enough for now, finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. I really wanted to say a really rude comeback to that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Yeah, Yuri licks your Yuri licks your finger to stop it from bleeding. It is weird. And then Natsuki and MC talk about weird stuff like this. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. 
Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki's babysitting all of my movements just to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Why doesn't she do this if she's the expert? Artie, where did you put the food coloring? The batter's going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. I'm making each tray a different color. Make it just all chocolate. That way, even if the flavors are different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Oh, that's a cute idea. I, no one's gonna pick barf green f cupcakes. <laughs> are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Blech. You're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on! You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. So much fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki's trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Ah, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking is just following instructions. That actually kind of is what baking is about, as a matter of fact, because if you don't follow the instructions, you could cause... Well, see what Sayori did to her house. The presentation's where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end if it's just looking at it makes everyone's eyes light up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. That was a couple hours ago. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that, too. I just wonder. Yeah. Maybe I'll use the food coloring, then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you f mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Oh, that's... Cry me a river. I... Whisking the icing by hand is not hard. Eh? The icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. I, I'll just take a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Oh, yeah. No, no. Oh, no. Here, look. Natsuki grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few se seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger in her icing and pops it into her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? <laughs> Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger toward the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next! I'd like to see you try! What, you have like two strength. I push harder just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some of my finger just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Ah! The force of Natsuki push pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. GROSS! You got it on my face! Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. No, there isn't. <laughs> she tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Ah, jeez! You know what? Take this! Natsuki instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger towards my own face. She, she's doing weird stuff with fingers, too! I also expect her to just splat the icing on my face. <laughs> you wish! I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Also, Marty, did you forget about what's about to happen here? <laughs> Stop! Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know. Saying dumb things like that just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like this. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this, either. I take Natsuki's finger and put it into my mouth, looking off the icing. Did you forget about this part, Marty? This is just as weird, if not weirder. <laughs> but, but, what? D did you seriously just... Uh, Natsuki's so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Artie, you really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. Shoot, shouldn't have done that because I don't really like her. You know that, right? Well, now I do! What kind of a question is she asking me just like that? How did the moon turn this so quickly? I don't know! Maybe it could have been when you put her finger in your mouth! <laughs> I... That's who he gazes at me in silence. I notice her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Bleh! I don't know where the fire alarm starts going off. Not the smoke alarm, they have a full-on fire alarm. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? No, not, not the spinach puffs! I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. 
<laughs> no wonder! You left the dirty tray in here, dummy! <laughs> How can you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on! Uh, do people do this in real life? <laughs> I don't know, Dan Salvato has a f I'm not gonna finish that. Don't blame me for your mistakes! Jeez. That's okay to use an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. Don't store pans in the oven. This is just... Natsuki smoked 50 packs. That You have no idea how badly that was, that was smoking. She sets it on top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yep. For their attention for the moment, before it still lingers over our heads. Gee, I wonder why that happened. But the moment has already been lost. I watched as Natsuki slides the cupcake trays into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. Ah, that smells so good! The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet-smelling warm air fills the room. Look at how cute they all look! She probably shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. You also need to let them cool a bit before you put the icing on. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that'll make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time, though. What's this one for? I pick up one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cake. Like, happy birthday or whatever. Oh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We could make it more literature-themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcakes based on a word that they like. <laughs> Hmm. I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid, but that's actually a really cute idea, so... Ha ha ha. Maybe I'm getting it from you. But what's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute, you wore all pink. Come on. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well... Mitsuki's voice trails off. Same with you. Thank you, I am cute. Eh? Did you say something? It, no, nothing. Let's just do the icing. I, I hate this attitude. Why do people like this? Why do people be like, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I want from girls. I want them to treat me like trash and not... I don't understand it. Natsuki picks up the pace and fastens a nozzle to each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to even think about it before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we each get to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they all are together! Yeah, they are, aren't they? Ugh, I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. Ha ha ha. Sayori is the exact opposite in that regard. If she were here, she'd probably down tep cake. She'd, we'd already be down 10 cupcakes already. And then she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway, I was hoping we could have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Ugh, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. Sure, blame me. You should have thought about that. It's not like you'll always have this chance. Man... As usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sayori each carry some, you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that, but Sayori will eat them all. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. Hmm. <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Ugh. Yeah. I think again, back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. Yeah, that really serious conversation! I felt so helpless. Sayori always does listen to me, but at that point it felt like she just couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. I remember this act being way shorter. I don't know why. Just like that, Natsuki's already ready to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. Oh, I know why. Because on my first playthrough, I wasn't reading everything out loud. That's why it went faster. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Eh? What you said before, about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. 
you showed me how to fun baking can be, like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over any time, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere... Bro, we're on the Sayori route. Um, do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah, I want to spend more time with you. Artie, I thought you only cared about getting this done. Yeah, I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Natsuki suddenly gets way too close to me, totally ignoring my personal space. Wait, Natsuki? Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch at the sides of my shirt as if she's holding me. Is this because we licked her finger? Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision, along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breaths against me. I felt it. For a while now. We've known this girl for five days. Tops. And this is the only... This is literally the only time we've actually spent one-on-one -on -one time with her. This is completely unrealistic. <laughs> That's who he suddenly jumps back. Sayori! Uh, hi, Artie. Sayori! <laughs> Just now, uh, we definitely weren't about to kiss. I mean, I did lick her finger, but uh, that happens. You know, it happens with literally all the girls in this game. Except Monica. <laughs> it's okay, Artie. Actually, it doesn't happen with Sayori either. I just stopped by to say hi. Well, you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so... Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well, I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. But just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room... But my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki. And how close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. Yep, yeah, that's definitely what friends do. Almost kiss and lick fingers. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. It's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Artie? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that! It's true, Artie. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. B but Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Artie. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Artie. I like you so much that I want to die! That's how I feel! And... and... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down to Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give to you. Sayori, oh boy, here it comes, everybody. The choice. Do we confess to Sayori, or do we friendzone her in the most hardcore way possible? We're doing the Sayori route, and she's best girl, so we're going to confess our love to her. I love you. Huh? Those are my true feelings. So there's no way that you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, realizing how much they suck <laughs> in comparison, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, 
it helped me realize that you truly are the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I'll know we'll both be happy. Artie. And we get the saddest but also cutest CG in the game. Suddenly Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. Artie. Is this really okay? Yeah. This is also the, the most we get to see of the protagonist. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Artie. I want to be with you forever. Me too. Shouldn't have named myself Artie. This makes it weird. Should have named myself Bort. <laughs> I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now? Why won't the rain clouds go away? I should have named myself Dennis! No! I absolutely should have. <laughs> Darn it! The thing is, though, I named myself Artie just as the test to make sure that the recording worked, but then it wouldn't let me change it to anything else. I, I was kind of annoyed. They're not going away at all, Artie. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again, but no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Okay. I, I trust you. We might be killing the moment a little bit for how emotional the story's getting, but honestly, this game gets intense, both in terms of, like, sadness and horror, so I want to try to alleviate some of that tension. And I can do that, because I've played this before. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those fiends, you know? I want everyone thing to be the same as it always has been. Yeah, but if you friend zone her, that's gonna be <laughs> that gets that was, that was real bad. <laughs> Even if we really are a couple, I don't know if I can handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Artie. Sayori so glances at me once more, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad. This is the best thing for me, right? Uh, I didn't say that! <laughs> this is the best thing for me! <laughs> I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. That definitely don't sound like happiness. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah! <laughs> one of them. <laughs> I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and that she loves me. But having, s but I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting to anything to change? I don't know, but I do know I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori's the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her.